Hi everyone. So today what we're going to look at is we're going to use we're going to look at the pelvic area and look at the control of the pelvic area and we're going to use one of these tools called a pressure biofeedback or a PBU. So it's very well known that for good movement, good function or good performance that we would like this central region to be under good control and we also want to make sure that we're getting it stable. One way to know if we're doing this really, really well is to use this little tool. And we're gonna demonstrate two exercises today using this. So David's very kindly already put himself into a neutral lumbar spine. So we've done this several times in other videos, but I'll just quickly run through it for you. So all we're gonna get David to do is we're gonna get him to push his lower back into the bed, and then he's gonna arch his back. Okay, and these are the two extremes of which our, mel our pelvis and lower back go into. And all we're asking to do is find the middle of these two points. So Dave, if you can just have a little wiggle and find your middle, okay? Now he's in the middle, what I'm gonna ask him to do is we're gonna pump this little tool up. Now what we will be doing is in the link below, we're gonna stick the link on how you can get one of these. They're about 37 to 40 pounds at the moment, Sam. So what Dave's gonna do is he's gonna, now he's in this, he's in neutral span. He's going to maintain his neutral spine and he's going to pump this up to on the dial here up to 40. Okay, happy? Now while we're doing this, it's important to realise we'd like him to continue breathing and not hold his breath. This is a sign of cheating. Also what's going to happen is we're going to ask him to maintain the dial on this on 40. If it goes up or down, again, that's not an ideal position to be in. So Dave, do you want the purpose of this? Can you please keep that on 40? No problem. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna set it up. Okay, so on the knee, the hip, and the foot, all in a nice little alignment. And we're gonna do two exercises. The exercise, first one is gonna be a flexion extension of the hip, and then we're gonna look at rotation. So Dave, for exercise one, all I'm gonna ask you to do is slowly lift the knee up, looking to get it to 90 degrees, and you can see this 90 degrees, this is a good pattern. Okay, and then I would like to slowly lower the leg. Okay, so it's important to understand that what we're gonna do, he has control for it on the way up, and for it on the way down. And we can do the left leg for me. Now, for you guys doing this at home, it's important to think about that you are maintaining your breath, and thinking about the control. So what to make this on 40, you're gonna to have to make small adjustments to your lower back as you move through. I would rather you do slow and control rather than cheat. So just for show you guys one more time, so you can just lift this knee for me, please. Good, and then slowly lower. And again, lift this one for me, please. It's actually doing really well. Okay, and then relax, cheers Dave. All right, feeling good? Good. Okay, so for our second exercise now, we're gonna do the same approach, but this time we're gonna look at a rotation element. So what we're gonna ask Dave to do in this is we're gonna, again, our setup's the same, so the knee and hips are in nice alignment. We're gonna to look to try and keep our left leg still, and we're gonna rotate or drop down our right. You're gonna try and get to 45 degrees. Again, maintaining the dial. So in, we're in the first exercise where the pelvis is gonna be going, we're gonna be moving like this. What we're now looking to do is look at the rotation elements of it. So Dave just does that again for you all. Keeping this still. And you can see the way as Dave gets towards the end of range, it becomes a little bit juddery. That just shows a little bit of room and improvement and you should <laughs> do this exercise more often. Okay, if you can just rotate this one out. Good, and then slow. And you can see how Dave's doing, taking his time, it's nice and controlled, and he's getting all of his feedback from the little unit. Okay, fantastic Dave, thanks very much for that. So, I hope you've enjoyed the videos. Very nice and simple way of just showing how you can get some precise and accurate ways of measuring how well you are controlling your pelvis and your lumbar spine. So if you like this, please feel free to comment or share this with your uh, other friends. 
and hopefully we're going to do some more videos to show you so take care and thanks for watching